Yes, you heard that was pretty good. My name is Anoni, and I think I know what you're thinking. Yes, I do use a fake name if I go to Starbucks. Now, I want to play a game with the front row. Sorry, you shouldn't have sat here. I'm going to do a little spelling bee, see how far we can do with this name that I am 100% British. My parents just decided to be interesting. What do you think it starts with? L. Nope. Let's start again. E. Nope. O. Yes. Let's keep going. What's the second letter? <laughs> okay, second letter. U. No, you know the answer, so I'm not going to go to you. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Now, I've lived with this name for over 22 years now, and I've, the main thing I learn with this name is that I get called many things that are not my name, so I respond to a lot of things. Naomi, Anayani, Anemone, that fish thing you get in rock pools. But I think my great grand put it best when her response when I was born was, What's wrong with Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> now, I, this name they decided to give me turns out to be a Greek name. No one in my family is Greek. We go Scottish about three generations back. That is the most exciting we get ethnically. ethnically. There we go. <laughs> But this name, it turns out, is a classical Greek name, which makes it even more fancy, which does not help my, my, my voice, just makes me sound more public school. But this name is from a classical Greek myth. Anoni is a nymph and a prophetess. She is a nymph of wine, which means my knowledge of the Echo Falls range in Tesco is amazing. 